70 to 80 percent water. So after oxygen, water is the most important nutrient. A dehydrated cell is a dead or unhealthy cell. Under a microscope, the difference between a healthy hydrated cell and an unhealthy dehydrated cell is best illustrated by the difference between a grape and a raisin. Health experts suggest that your diet must consist of 70% water-rich food. A water-rich diet consists of fresh fruits and vegetables, or their juices freshly squeezed. Eat food that comes out of the ground looking the way it looks when you eat it. If it's processed or packaged or it's got trans fats, these all increase shelf life, but they shorten human life. Walk 30 minutes a day. You don't have to do that at the end of the day. You can make it part of what you do every day, like use the stairs instead of an elevator. But 30 minutes of extra walking that you normally do every day. Exercise every day. Doctors of longevity tell us that all increased blood flow is good for the brain and also lifts our spirits. Exercise leads to perspiration, which is another way of getting toxins out of our body. Exercise makes you feel better and gives you more energy. High energy performance comes from movement. Exercise is the single best method available for decreasing the tension and stress that rob you of mental energy. The fastest way to get out of stress is to work out. Regular exercise will certainly help as this can increase oxygen and hemoglobin levels whilst also providing happy endorphin hormones to neutralize some more toxic hormones. It is decisions that determine the quality of our health. The lifestyle decisions we make every day determine our health and diseases. In the near future, the real improvement in our health care is less likely to be driven by the advancement of medical science than by our improved decisions in dietary changes and our healthy lifestyle.